Well, the search continues for Mum of Three Gaynor Lord, who was last seen on Friday evening. Her belongings were found scattered in various locations through a local park and in the River Wensum. Now, the latest development is that CCTV footage has been released, which TV viewers can see on their screens now. Well, joining us now to discuss this development and the search in general is GB News national reporter Theo Chacomba. Theo, we were talking earlier that the uh, police have been looking in the river. They believe that, uh, that, that they might discover something in the river. But releasing this CCTV footage now suggests that perhaps uh, hope shouldn't be given up. Yes, that's right. Within the last hour, they have released this CCTV footage showing a uh, mother of three, Gaynor Lord, uh, leaving uh, the city centre. Um, and she left her workplace uh, department store in the city centre on Friday afternoon. And that has been released to, to help people uh, to see what she was wearing. Uh, some of those items, as you've just mentioned, uh, have been found in this park. Now, just over my right shoulder, for those who can see, there is a white tent and Norfolk police say that that area in particular is where some of those items were found and that is a, an area they're going to be continuing to look into. There is a specialist dive teams who are working here. Uh, there is a boat which has been going up and down the river to, to find, uh, to hopefully find something that could help as part of their investigation. And also we've heard from the policing uh, superintendent Wes Hornigold who said our working hard hypothesis at the moment is that Gaynor is in the water. That's what we are working towards it. Um, it's a missing persons inquiry. There's no evidence at the moment to suggest that there's any third party involvement. And this is a significant operation in terms of the search, both the park and the waterways. Searching the water is quite challenging. But I do have to say that there is a strong a team of people who are working here. Many of them are surrounding uh, many areas of this park. Um, but of course, for the family, they'll be hoping that if anyone has any further information, particularly after CCT, TV footage was released that they'll be able to assist mm. the police. So Theo, what we know so far, this image, the CCTV footage showing the woman leaving the department store where she was working. She has a smile and here's some more CCTV, CCTV footage that we're seeing now. Running. She appears to be streets. jogging through the streets, actually. Very, very curious. Very curious. So that was the last time she was seen. And now there is clothing of hers to be found in various locations in a park near this river. Um, what else do we know? Presumably her family and friends are absolutely distraught. Yes, uh, one can imagine uh, what's going through their mind right now, particularly leading up to Christmas, a time where uh, family members and friends will be looking to come together. And of course, they are looking to hear uh, and see what the police has been able to establish as part of their investigation. Now, they believe uh, that Gaynor is uh, in the water, but of course, uh, they haven't uh, confirmed that at the moment as the investigation continues here at Wensum Park, just on the edge of the city centre here in, Nor in, in Norwich. I am fascinated by this footage. We're seeing, um, we, we're seeing her sort of rush through traffic, mm. run down a road. She looks like she's in a huge hurry, perhaps running from something, running to something. Uh, this has really heightened the sense of mystery, for me at least. Uh, uh, Theo, I, 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 I'm, I'm almost lost for words. Why have the police decided to release this? Clearly, they've got more... Uh, avenues of investigation than just looking in the water. Yes, um, so apart from the CCTV, they're also appealing for anyone who has uh, uh, cameras on their doors, for example, and dash cam footage as well. This is part of their appeal, uh, which they've launched in the last hour. And they're hoping that anyone who's who's got some of this footage is able to help them and pass it on to the police so that they can uh, put together some of the evidence they already have, and some of which uh, many people in this area might have to assist them, mm. and of course, uh, help them in this investigation. Now, police will be using all avenues in cases like this so that they uh, are able to put everything together and perhaps find a conclusion in this case. Thank you very much indeed. Theo Jacomba there, RGB News national reporter in the area.
Um, this is quite incredible, this CCTV mm. footage, quite lengthy as well. We see the lady in various areas of the city centre there, looking like she's in a rush to somewhere or away from something. Mm. Um, well, we'll be on the scene to find out more when and if we receive it.